Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Hope you're all good. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside and uh, we are taking a look at a beer that really it's the perfect time of year for this beer and it's one that I picked up from Lidl and it's a bottle of Abbey de Vauclair and this is their Printemps. So it's a spring beer, it's a 660ml bottle, it's coming in at 6.8% so it's a big hitter. And this was £2.99 from Lidl. Uh, I first saw about this from Rate My Beer. I've seen he'd picked it up. Uh, they'd reviewed this and then they'd done the comparison with uh, the Lefe Spring on the Perfect Draft. Now, the Abbey de Vauclair, they seem to be... I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's especially for Lidl, this kind of beer. Uh, and there's a few, few of their beers. They've done a blonde that they've released in Lidl. Uh, they've also done the Rubis uh, that they released in Lidl and this one. So uh, yeah, this is uh, my third beer from them. Uh, this is a big bottle, like I say, it's a big ABV. It's a Cajun cork, as you can see, or cork and cage or Cajun cork, however you want to say it. Uh, so yeah, let's get it open and give it a go. Now the blonde was, blonde was all right. From what I remember, it was, it, it was a decent enough beer. Uh, the Rubis, uh, the Ruby beer, if you like, the fruit beer, I thought was fantastic. Really smooth, uh, certainly. And again, I compared it in the video to sort of like Left Ruby, beat the arse off Left Ruby. What's this going to be like? I don't know. Uh, I can only judge from what I've seen off other videos. But by all accounts, the beer is all right. But compared to Left spring on the PD it was a very different drink but I don't suppose they're they're trying to be left spring or left ruby or the left blonde they are just Belgian sort of style ales so I'm not going to fill it right up because it's a big leffy pint glass but in the glass it is sort of like a deep amber colour Lots of carbonation coming up, as you can see from the bottom of the glass, because they are nucleated. And we've got about half a finger of white head on top. Yes, it would look better a bit more full, but I'm going to try and be sensible, because there is another review that I want to get out tonight and get up tonight. Although, I won't post this up now, but the video that I want to do after will be up tonight. Confusing. Anyway, beer looks good. It looks like a typical sort of Belgian ale. So let's dive in with the nose and see what we get on the aromas. Very muted. Light. Apple, pear, that Belgian yeastiness in there. Yeah. Very light sort of aromas on the nose. You get that typical Belgian yeasty kind of aroma. But it's like apple, pear, grape, them sort of fruits that sort of like give off that real light sort of aroma. But it smells all right. They certainly don't, you know, it doesn't smell bad. It smells all right. So let's dive in on Abbey de Vauclair Printemps Spring Beer 6.8%. Cheers. That's nice. That is nice. Uh, really, really smooth there in the mouth. And the body's nice as well. It's not over heavy. It's not over sticky, which I think that's sometimes what you get with like uh, leffy kind of beers. They te seem to be sometimes a little bit over sweet, a little bit sticky. This hasn't got that for me. So the body's maybe not so heavier because it maybe hasn't got that sticky, sort of syrupy kind of feel about it. It's really smooth. The carbonation in there, minute little bubbles, minute little bubbles, which gives it some of that smoothness. When the bubbles are popping in your mouth, 
it, it, it's almost like aero chocolate. When you when you when you eat aero chocolate, there's something really smooth about it because it's sort of aerated chocolate. This beer gives that same kind of feeling when you drink it. Super smooth. Really nice and soft. It does go down well. I'm going to be a little bit cheeky and give her a top up. Probably not the wisest of moves, but I'm going to anyway. Right, let's go in, give it some taste. <coughs> Sorry, went down the wrong hole there. Yeasty, there is a sweetness there. Malty. You get that apple and pear kind of taste in the mouth. There's a light fruity note that's going on in there. That's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, now, I know Rate My Beer said on their review, worlds apart from Leffy Spring. And, and just from my head, I can tell that is worlds apart. Leffy Spring is a lot lighter in flavour. Less malty, shall we say. Uh, for me, this has got a bigger a malt malty backbone to it if you like there's more malt in this and it doesn't make it bad all it does is make it a different beer to leffy spring we're not comparing it to leffy spring to be fair but it's too easy to because i've had it yeah malty yeasty a little bit sweet not as sweet and sticky. There's certainly not that stickiness. There is a little bit of sweetness in this beer. It's not the stickiness of the of the leffy. And then you get the lighter flavours. The apple, the pear, the sort of grape kind of thing going on. I'm wondering if there's maybe a subtle lemon sort of note in there as well. I think there's a little citrus hit in there. You could maybe say lemon or lime or something, but it's nice. I think it's a nice beer. I think it's a decent beer. 6.8%. I wouldn't say you really sort of get that 6.8%, but I will go in just to double check, as you do. No, it's not. You, you can tell it's a heavier beer. Don't get me wrong but there's not a big sort of alcohol burn or anything going on with this. It, it's just a stronger beer that you just know is a stronger beer. But for me, that is a decent drop. Mm. And I think really for, you know, a 750 mil bottle, £2.99, 6.8%, I really don't think you can complain at that. So if you, are, if you do go in Lidl's or you are in Lidl one day and you happen to see this and you like your Belgian beers, Give this a go, give it a go, because I think it's well worth your £2.99. Uh, it's a nice enough beer. Again, maybe don't compare it to Left Spring. You know, it it might be coming across as, they might be trying to work off the Leffy branding, but uh, different beers, but that doesn't make this a bad beer. That's a decent beer. So for me, Abbey de Vauclair Printemps, is it worth a pickup? Absolutely. It's got some lovely flavor in there. And it's good value as well. So uh, that's it for this beer review. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've had this beer before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.